have, we have used our pitches. Not that we don't have a FIFA standard. We have FIFA standard pitches in Ghana. We have one in Accra, uh, two in Accra. That's here, uh, Accra Sports Stadium and Legon Sports Stadium. We have Baba Yara Sports Stadium, FIFA standard. We have FIFA standard Cape Coast. We are renovating a Sipon Sports Stadium. Currently, because of the sea, the closeness of the sea to the stadium, the metal got damaged, rust, and they have to blast all those metals, take the roof off. Now they are re-roofing. They've done all those works and they are re-roofing. Very soon, it's also going to be completed. So it is not true that we don't have FIFA standard stadium uh, facilities in Ghana. It's not. It is up, up to the CAF inspectors to come and, and, and decide. We have written to them and they are here to respond. Once Kumasi was used for that social event, that did damage the pitch and we had issue with Kumasi. We wrote to CAF that they should consider a cross post stadium and Cape Coast and we, we are waiting to get a response. Thank you. Very well. We that we are coming from here, we know how it is to, to wear that shirt. And these foreign based players, some of them, they can't even speak our local language. So we go to the cab, it's not like our time that after lunch or after dinner, we sit and we try to interact, we try to mock each other, we do our prayers and all that. But today, if you go to the camp, because they don't know the culture, so they find it difficult to adapt. But it's not, it's not, it's not a matter of uh, uh, respect or they don't respect the coaches. I haven't, I haven't seen uh, such a thing. Okay, so our time. Um, yeah, I mean, such things happen. I mean, if people try to put their foot down under certain things, and I think we have to take this very, very serious. You have coaches who go to Kram for six months, four months, and they don't take any salary, only other ones. You have coaches for the Black Stars who are earning so much. Under 70 coaches, they don't take anything. Under 20 coaches, they don't take anything. Under 23. So if I'm a coach, and these things are, these things are not happening to me, and an agent comes, and he wanted me to take his player, player and give me some money, I'll take it. So I think that we have to try and we have to try and solve that pro problems to make the coaches feel okay. I'm not saying that the under 17 coaches will feel better than the senior national team coaches. But in a way we have to let them feel okay and we have to let them feel that they are working and they have to make something out of it. So I think your question because some of them find themselves that they are not getting anything. So when people influence them with envelopes, they take it. I think it's not only the captain, it's not only the captain, but players who come to the national team, they have, they have to be committed. I'm not saying that. They have to be committed because you have 30 something million population. They have selected 23 and you are part of it. It's an honor. And you have to know that you are representing Ghana. So whatever you have to do to make it work, you have to. For the past five years, we are struggling. We are not seeing things like that. So I think it's not only the captain. You can be a captain, and you, you can be a good captain, but doesn't mean that you can win matches. But when you have your colleagues, that, that they are aiming the same goal. I think that that's where you can make it. Because my time I was so lucky that I have players that they are aiming for the same goal. We have to qualify for the World Cup. We have to do better. And I think that luckily it happens. So it's not only you. It's about the people you are working with. If they have the same goal as you, it works. Yes, I think we, we have to give the local players, we have to give them the chance, the confidence um, to play for the national team. So in our time, maybe there are certain players that looks like, looks as if they are key players in the team. We were not key players. We have players like William Thero and the rest who were pushing us. So we, we have to make sure that we are not going to allow them to take our positions. 
For example, when we went to the World Cup 2006, Osefu who was a top, 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 top defender. Mm-hmm. After the game against Germany, after the game, the game against uh, Italy, the second game against Czech Republic, it was Sheila Alias who was playing for Porto. He came in and he stamped the position. Brilliant player. You have Adib Mohamed who took uh, Adokwe Pako position, play number three. Fantastic. So in our time there, there was a competition. Today there was no competition. So some of the, the players they feel so cool that whether they, they, they play well or not, they will play. Mm. But in our time it wasn't it wasn't like that. There was a competition. When we played when we played our second qualifier against South Africa in Kumasi, we lost our first game. We beat South Africa 3-0. I scored two goals, but I wasn't the man of the man. It was William Thero who was playing for Liberty Professional. So this is the difference. Today we don't have such things anymore. We have our players now running to go to Tanzania. It's a shame. They should rather come here. We have our players now going to Sudan. When we played against Niger, the number seven who was the best player on the pitch, who played for Niger, is a Ghanaian. We have a striker who won the goal king in Ghana Premier League because he didn't get a chance. Now he's playing for Togo. So we have to, we have to give our boys, we have to give them the chance. And because today our league is not attractive, that's why they are running and going to other other countries. Why? Because some of the boys are earning 300 cities. They are earning 500 cities. And at times they have to go beyond five months. They have children. They have to take care of home. They have to pay their bills. So somebody will come and say, "Okay, I'll give you eight hundred dollars." They will go. That's why today we even open a free gate, cut up against Accra Sofo empty stadium. So we have to try and look at those things. Mm-hmm. Let me do. The media can have a, a headline that we've directed that our facilities will not be available for other non-sporting activities that would include the usage of the pitch until such time that we hold claim to pitch covers. Let's, let's capture that on your news very clear that we've given this directive uh, going into the future. This is our stand, you know, and we've already communicated that out. You know, and Cape Coast has been recovered, and there was a test trial on on Cape Coast where we hosted the Afcon uh, Women Championship. Here, uh, I mean, in in the African Games, too, we piloted it, and the competition was was held. But for the Category Three, they have to come back and have an inspection, which we have communicated to them that the pitch you knew uh, three years ago is different as of now. Come and have. A look at it and you will certify it for us to use for our game in Ghana. Very well. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Chair. I just